Welcome to Alien Isolation. Uh, first time playing this game. Been out for a little while now, um, but uh, interested to play. So welcome to the first experiences of Alien Isolation. Uh, and hopefully it won't freak me the hell out too much. Always been a fan of the Alien films. Sorry if you can hear a little bit of noise. Trying to reduce. Let me just put the mic up on me on my nice sound dampening box. There we go, sound dampened microphone in place. So, uh, let's play the game. I'm going to break this up into uh, roughly 15 minute segments. And first calibration, right, so put that about there just so I can see a little bit more than the game is trying to convince me I need to see. Sprinting is a last resort, apparently. Now, all I know about this game is the idea is to avoid being seen by the alien. Or getting caught by the alien. Which sounds like a good idea, because I don't like the idea of him eating away at my head. With that jackhammer pneumatic head. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew, Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Bum, bum, bum. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial materials. Mm, so Sevastopol, not a great name to use. As soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley. When this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe... There'll be some closure for you. That's a good rendition of a human. Chin's a little bit square. A few edges there. Might be my graphics card that's doing that though.
Yeah, bad woman. Got some stuff to do. Now, in theory, we'll walk with the uh, Wasad, W-S-A-D. In theory, this is somewhere after the first film and before the second film. Because I would say they've already been to LV-426 at this point. But it could be after the second film. Second film, the one with the Marines? Yes, third film's the Alien. At uh, their prison. Um, either way, it's before the fourth film. We need to get dressed. Where's the getting dressed place? Personnel storage. Oh, look. Wally. Um, registration points manually save progress as we go. It's a telephone. Ah, right. So, let's read these things on the doors. It's probably a good idea. Taylor Ripley. Let's get dressed. What's the computer say? Oh, computer says no. Right, let's just turn it off. What have we got? These people are signed in. It's not telling me what to do now, so I've got to kind of make it up as I go along. Let's see where this door goes. Oh, wet floor. Someone peed on the floor. Oh, it's the shower. We don't want to have a shower. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere after the first or second films where Ripley's on the on the ship, possibly on the way to the prison colony. We'll find out as we go, I think. Spacesuits. We need the bridge. Where's the bridge? What do these things do? That would be the lift and something else. Hmm, seats. Let's see where the seats go. How'd you sprint? Oh, I'm hiding somewhere. Control does something which makes you stand really tall. And I don't quite see the point in that. That goes somewhere. Ah, dining room. Tail. Mess. Good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. And I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuel? Mother missing. This must be after the first film because in the rest. second film... I'll catch up with him. Burke says um, that her daughter's died of old age. We need to go speak to Taylor. Where's Taylor? There you go. I managed to work that out in my head because I'm that exciting. What we got here? Cream butter? Is this some sort of computerised thing that generates food or... Who knows? Right, where does that go? It's computer now. Sign into the trolley. Record a disaster. Hey Taylor, I've got your case request. It may take me a while to dig out the files and the, inc uh, and the incident happened before my time at the company so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. Oops. Um, in 2122, the Weyla Mutani uh, cargo vessel USCSS Nostromo went missing. No traces found of cargo or crew, apart from a new science officer. The rest of the crew had worked together before seven in all. Dallas Captain Ash, science officer Kane, or is it Kane? Executive officer Ripley, warrant officer Lambert, navigation officer. And there was the Ash was uh, a robot dude. Uh, down. What's going on here? Right, we've done that. That's lovely. Come on, next. 
page up or down. Oh, look, we can scroll. Parker Chief Engineer and Brett. When in Utani lost a lot of money from it. Uh, it's a bit of a black mark in the history. Get the impression they don't like to mention it. Anyway, I'll try and find the files later, clarify some of the points. If you want help go through them, maybe some of your luck will rub off on me. I hear upstairs have an eye on you for something big. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. What have we got going on here? A Torrens, an M-Class starship. Captain Vilaine. Diane. Diane Vilaine. Oh, she owns the ship as well. Rich woman, rich woman. Let's go into there. Can we scroll? Yep. Passenger, uh, right, outbound and return transportation for Whalen uh, Utani revival team to Sevastopol Station. Anyone who's been following news recently, Sevastopol's not a great name for a game or for me to be talking about right now. When it first came out, it wouldn't have been a dodgy time to talk about it. Uh, team consists of three Wayne and Mutani employees, Samuels C, Ripley A, Taylor N. Uh, bunch of passengers, interstellar communications antenna, long haul hypersleep chamber, commercial passenger cargo, ship retrofitted for a, from a tow rig. Retains operational heavy duty tow umbilical. Ooh, right, uh, how do we get out of here? Get rid of that, get rid of that. Let's leave the computer. It's almost going to be a time for a, for a round up for the end of this episode. It's a, a lot of wandering around for nothing. Let's go down here. Oh, oh, lights are happening. There's someone in. or something in first aid. I get the feeling I'm not allowed up that idiot. yet. No, can't go up there. First, it's not called first aid, silly man. Ah, Ripley. Ah. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting. The He's a robot. Facilities. A well. Sorry, spoiler. Ship. I have no idea. I realize it's a very for him saying that. The Nostromo. Yes, M class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveller. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. We talked. She seems nervous. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. She's a skilled executive, though. Should help us with any legal issues we might encounter. That dude is definitely a robot. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sebastopol Station. Looks like we're up. What's he playing on? He's playing on an iPad that he's not holding. He must be an android. Definitely something wrong with the dude. Let me bring my timer back so you can see what's going on here. Timer. So we've made it to the bridge. Or we will have made it to the bridge. Stopwatch. Here we go. See what's going on again. Follow him. He looks like he's going somewhere useful. The bridge has got seaty things next to it. Ooh, well done. Get out of the way, you silly android. You can run quicker than that. Come on. I, I'm liking the graphics. It's a good a good um, version of Nostromo-ish type ship. It actually looks a little bit too much like the Nostromo for my liking, but I suppose it was around the same time. Get out of the damn way. Hope you all had a restful journey. Hello, the Diane. Is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? Awesome. G loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Right, before we go pick up our briefing documents, we've made it to the bridge. The slowest start I've ever known in a game. Even worse than Half-Life on the train. 15 minutes to get this far. 
Um, hopefully you'll join us uh, again very soon for Alien Isolation Part 2. Um, thank you. Like, subscribe, comment. Do them if you want. I can't be bothered. I'm just here to play some games. Thank you and good night.